I, Amanda Clark, pick you, Jack Porter, to be my husband. In the presence of our best man, Sammy. Amanda? Wow. What is going on here? It's my wedding, Daddy. Looks like you're preparing one fancy event. <laughs> what are these pipe cleaners? Her wedding ring, silly. Oh! <laughs> Very nice rings. So, who is the lucky guy? Ah, Jack. Hey, Mr. Clark. Well, uh, I think you're just in time. For what? In its purest form, the union becomes part of our very essence. But when that bond is broken, our essence is forever changed. Efficient certificate check. Bridal bouquet ordered. Wedding cake on hold. Who knew efficient was French for wedding bitch? Hey, you okay? Any news on Aiden's whereabouts? Oh, not since La La Land. Seems he's taken a page from your manual on how to disappear without a trace. You know they can't go after the initiative on his own. They just murdered his sister. At this point, I don't know what he'll do. Anything on Padma? No communication there yet either, but believe me, I've got eyes and ears all over that one. If they make contact, I'll know. Whatever you do, you cannot let Padma know that you're onto her. I won't. Look, I know this isn't exactly the happy ending you envisioned for you and Jack. All that matters is that he's happy. Ems, there's no shame in admitting that your feelings about this marriage are complicated at the least. I meant what I said. I'm happy that things are going Jack's way. He deserves it. And Amanda does too. I don't know if I'd call Conrad Grayson commandeering half of the stowaway things going great for Jack. What are you talking about? Amanda didn't tell you? Tell her what? Uh-oh, uh, well, he thinks I'll let you two work this out. Sans moi. See at the altar, Andy. What? The 